All right, so carrying on from the uh, last time, the reading and writing code generation from the XML spec files that are from the documentation, pretty much done. Uh, I do not believe I introduced any new memory leaks, which is always a plus. It's the one from outside. I don't care about that. It's outside of my scope. 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 Ah. Uh, I had to do a bunch of other things offline that wasn't covered last time. I had to do conversion for uh, ID types, resource IDs, entity IDs. I needed to do enum types for like asset importers, so like it's a flag type. Um, what else? These are all converted over. Reduction of like these kind of foam code you know hand coded uh, functions those are all gone um yeah more more autogen that's something else more files gone files that weren't required was because this is the old stuff it's all standardized which is great or auto generated as much as possible uh, the tests also redone, as well as the fuzz tests. Um, even though I haven't fully reduced the amount of content that it's written out, like I had originally hoped to, by using the compare functions, I still at least have checks to see, like, to reduce um, if the object is zero or otherwise, like, empty like it's just filled with zeros for the data structure like there is still a massive reduction in what is written out like in the example for whatever this is the pipeline depth stencil state create info structures from Vulcan used to write out all of this basically zero data and now it's just just this and again Pascal to snake case I also had to convert the the bring up data set um, to do that Again, another reduction of what's coming out. Uh, uh, anything else? Changes to the importers and exporters, basically wherever there used to be a read, you know, read-write calls from templated type to specific typed type, I guess. Specific functions, specifically named functions for everything. I had some standard rewards. I don't really like that, but hey, you know, it's temporary. Well, that's how I uh, tell myself. Um, yeah, more, lots of stuff being written out. Simplifications, generally. Tests. Uh, settings. Functionality for this. Yeah, yeah, for the settings file. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So, that's that. Um, Oh, one character short. Uh, okay. Rather than... Able to read... YAML, YAML content, being calcified, calcified, into explicitly type number as being reduced from 
looking forward to too. Is there anything else really? I mean, that's just kind of it really. Do I even use this? Do I even, I don't think I use this anymore. I don't know, I'll probably get rid of this. No, I still use it for the fuzz process. And hmm. Okay, I still use it for that at least. I don't remember this function even being here. I'm GUI. Okay, yeah, I haven't. I don't even remember what this is doing. What is this doing? I'm GUI. Oh, it's just generating. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Not interested in that. But I did at least remove... No, I need it there any... as well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what else was... Uh... Okay. Whole lot of stuff. Go away. So, um, do I want to do refinement? No. Today I'm going to be moving on to doing binary reading and writing, which it will be a lot. S well, I'm not going to say simpler. It should be easier than YAML for the fact that I don't actually have any code that I need to like replace or update or work within the current bounds for. This will all be just brand new, fresh stuff. But luckily, of course, having having done the YAML stuff, uh, it should be, I already have a good base to start with. Right. Dot title. We want this stuff to begin with. Human friendly name, not really too. Why is this here? I mean, this is binary, not YAML, so I don't actually care. I don't need that. Uh, what I do need is the setup. Grabbing all of this stuff. Do I need a translator? I'm going to need the trans. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I did add was a translator. Rather than. Because initially I was going to have like do translations on objects after the fact, like through a separate set of functions. But if I'm only partially updating structures, then I'd rather actually do the translation at the ingress point. Like the, the point at which it enters the application, that's the point at which it's going to be uh, translated. So in this case right now, it's being done as part of the read call. So that's what this is going on about here. Anyways, I mean, I may change that again later, but for the moment, yeah, I'm not too bothered by that. We need the translator. Uh, I need this because And the two declarations. Okay, okay. So, binary. For one thing, I'm going to be changing things up. It's not going to be returning bool. It's going to be returning a full result type. It's not going to be that. It's going to be binary. Or raw read. Raw? I'll just say binary. Binary read, binary write, and what do we what else we want to do? Uh void on star p read read buffer. Uh, get out of here. We 
the 32 star to read size. So the first rule is, of course, going to be like a chunk of memory somewhere, and you're going to be reading it. The read size is going to be, is when you pass it in, it's going to be the size of the buffer that you have. And then on a successful, on return, whether it was successful or not, this will be replaced with like, you know, how much was read, how much data was actually read. So you can move the pointer forward if for whatever reason. Then we got the um, translator, if it's there. And then finally we have the actual data. Star the data. On the flip side, we're going to have writing, which is going to be the input. So is it zero? No, one. On star the data. And uh, we went to the right size. Again, this is the same idea as the resize, except when you put, pass it in, that's the size of the writing buffer. And on on a successful, re on a return, it's going to be like how much was either hmm, Okay. If P write buffer is null, you don't pass in a buffer, then this when return on a on a successful return, this is going to return the size of a buffer that's required to write the entirety of the object of the data out into a binary. If this exists, then this should be the size of going in, the size of the buffer. And it will, you know, uh, spit out on success, you know, the, the actual number of bytes written. Yeah. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure it'll make sense in the end. So, hmm. uh, then we've got to go through, we've got to find the type, we've got to get the category, make sure it's a structure. We're going to establish control members. This is normal. Okay. Control members. Okay. Unlike with the YAML, control members will actually have to have their members be processed before regular members. So, we're going to have a read string. Okay. Got that? We're gonna do basically this. No. Yes. No. 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 We need no. Close. But not quite. We're gonna have three sections. First of all, we have the read content string, reading the content. That's simple enough. We also have the write content. But we're also going to need another one. It's going to be like the right size string. Because when writing, first of all, you want to see like how much space am I going to need? And then I need to check like, do I have enough space? Or just plain old return. Maybe. Do I want to like start writing things before... No, no, no. I'll I'll try to keep them separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think. New read, new new side, new write. Okay. Read content string. New write content string. Member member name. Gonna have in a function. Okay, maybe it'll be a bit. Where if I do this? This is going to be up here. It's going to return. Turn that. Okay, great. So reading of this stuff.
Here all this. Grab this. Let's clear all this. Zero, one, two, zero, one, two. Okay, zero is the function macros. One is the type. Two is not the cleanup, but the translator. Okay, so this is this is how it's going to go. I think. You go in. First of all, you want to set the result because you're going to also be going using like the binary read functions inside, which means you're like re almost recursively. So like this is some of a variable I can keep reusing the t store output. So uh, this will be like two o result of o binary. Yes, I guess. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna need like a, almost a universal error code rather than because I don't necessarily think we want to have like s separate error codes just copy pasted in every library. That's kind of pointless. Hmm, maybe okay for now. I'll just have I'll just call it like faux binary, whatever. We're going to have that. We need secondly uint a t. It's going to be c, right? This yeah, this is going to be c. Const pointer. It's going to be mostly c, but it's going to have to be c plus plus because there's some of those. Types that still have like GLM, which requires C++. So I need to have this. Otherwise, I could just like just do a plain old conversion, which would be easy. On star, read proper. And then that's it. going to be the actual pointer we're going to like be reading on through whatever. Uh, I need to have one. Maybe data equals nothing. Zero size of one. We got the new object. We clean it up. Zero, one, two, three. Then we're going to have the, the area where we're going to read the content. Then, because like if we run out of if the if the if the the given buffer is too small to actually read the full object. We need the uh, exit case. So we're going to have like what? Four. Okay, so three is going to be read content string. Four is going to be that, that, that. Okay. I still really want to use this because what I'm going to do, I need like a go to uh, place. So it's going to be like, you know, like, like, like a macro when it's like, you know, large capitalized letters using underscores. I'm going to do a conversion of <laughs> human friendly name of whatever the Type name is so it's never a pointer and uppercase that. So that uppercase underscore read tails. So inside of this read section, I'm going to have basically go tos that go to this on font failure where it's going to do the cleanup stuff. If required. So if result.value is total success. Well, the successful case, first of all, we're going to do 
and this is going to be the likely if I don't know if I want to put the likely thing. And then we're going to have the failure case, which is this is where it's going to be if it's going to be doing a cleanup. If it has a cleanup function. Ooh, okay. <laughs> it's going to have to be, yeah, it's going to be a cleanup function. And it's going to be a multi line affair this time, where it's going to be do, do, do three of those. Else, at that. New line, two things deep, okay. We close it up. New line, new line, two, two, two. a format arc, okay. Uh, would it be that? No. New data, P new data. No, it's just new data and new data. It's in line. It's local. Mm, okay. Then we return. What are we returning? We're returning the result. Uh, in a successful case, copying the content, the data equals new data. Size equals how many? Read pointer minus what is we point star read buffer. So that's going to be returning how how many bytes we actually read. Um I'm do I wanna do I think I need to write this down. This is the wrong notebook. This is the right notebook. Okay, binary parsing, deep copy, compare, that's already done. Binary read size. Check. What was I going to do? YAML. Better compare. I'm not sure how to do... I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to use the read size quite yet. I mean, I know I'm going to return how many bytes I read, but I'm not sure how I'm going to actually make sure size is large enough yet yeah, that'll be a refinement i need to get you know the very basics working so that's the read that's the general layout of the read turn right total bike right Going that down to the right. Now, this is the other side of the interesting thing. So, first of all, we need to, we want to calculate. Before permitting to do so. Okay, this is how long? 100 cap? Yeah. Calculate the required buffer size. Need to write out the content before committing to do so. Yeah, so don't even bother trying to write anything out until you know you have enough buffer. Anyway, so you went 32. Size equals zero. Size up at zero. Then we're going to have it's the right size stuff. Then, whoop, if the right buffer is null, 
That means we weren't handed a buffer. We just, like, whoever called this just wants to know how much, how big it would, how big, how much, uh, how big a buffer it needs to be. Because they haven't decided to allocate anything or they don't have um, a ready-made buffer or they want to create one that's just the right size. Whatever the reason is. Uh, because there is no buffer. Alright, T right size right size turn to close result of O binary success. Okay. If we if we're past that, that means there that we were given a buffer. So if we Right star p right size less than right size. We don't have enough, so minimum. So again. Basically, same thing again. Like we just do. I just write that every time. I guess. Do a result. Oh, binary error. The fish in buffer size. The right pointer. We do that, then we're going to go through seven, which is the right content. So hold on. With the cleanup function, then we've got the right size. Right content. We have to write, we write out content, then we're going to have to... Yeah, this is... Yeah, it's always going to be the same. So just, you know what? Or, yeah, just that, that, and then that. Okay, now to do the actual interesting processing. So this is if... not int controlled members. And then we want to do regular members after that. Moving all the way up here. Let's get the very basics. Da, 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 da. Read string, read by string. Um, dot schools, we're going to do dot binary 
test and the title is both. Let's create a struct. No, uh, on what was it? Oh, example. Okay, that's one thing. One, two, three, four. So, okay, the read. Going to go through everything once. Interesting. Length member should be one of the first ones. It should have been basically the first one. It's like the only control member in here, but it didn't. The T string always happened first. That is obviously incorrect. So why? If member name is not in control members, length member. Okay, so it did get through here. Oh, it reset. Okay, that was, yeah, pretty obvious. Okay, processing of members. So first of all, we're not going to be doing, do I need formatted member name? No, type, formatted type name, yes. Do I need translator? Yes. Do I need these two? Um, not doing double interaction. So then we want to do character string. Okay. <clears throat> so string, 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 strings. We're reading. So, strings. How am I going to write these things out? Do I want to actually have... <sighs> a null terminated string, like actually null terminated in the binary? I'm not really on board with that. I mean, I could. Would it be feasible? Hmm. How though? I already the data that's being passed in is already a binary buffer. I really hmm. no, because then I can eat I can far too easily just call the uh, you know leave the buffer area if I'm just searching for the next null. That's not going to work. What I will do, however, go into to E, string length. Unless, can I do like a mem copy up to, or a string copy that has like a maximum that you can go? There's a destination size, but there is not a 
Hmm. But I don't know what how big it is yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like skip all that. I'm just going to like print out the length of the string in a 32 byte uh, bit thing. So it's mem copy uh, into string length from the pointer side of the great great uh, read pointer plus equals one sorry size of and I also need ooh Right, right, right. Reading the reading size. Something like that. Can I determine that from Can I just count that? If do a comparison. I'm not hmm. Come on. Not not my problem, not right now. Uh oh, so this should be scoped. So we don't run into issues from multiple similarly named variables in the same scope. Read pointer plus that. Then what we're going to do is going to go new data dot zero equals malloc. We're going to allocate the size of string length. If string length is greater than zero, then we will do this. We're in here, we're expecting more than zero. If uh, new data dot zero is still null, then we ran out of memory, host memory. So then we can return that as an error code. Uh, result, result of binary out of post memory. Out of memory. Post memory would be like if there's a yeah, out of memory. Otherwise we go to one underscore read failed which is the type name I need to pass in the structure type Pass that in so mm -hmm. first of all, uh, it was the member name, and then we got the This long thing for struct name build read, we skip on out to the end results not successful, then it's going to do the failure case. Okay. Otherwise, we have the memory. Now we just want to do the mem copy from or to the data dot zero from the pointer uh, for size of string length. Will that include zero? Mm. I'm not sure if I'm going to write it with the zero or not. If I'm, wait, no, I can skip on the zero if I'm already printing out the exact length of it anyways. 
I can yeah, I, I can save on this. I can save on the uh, null terminator. Okay. Um, so that's that. That's reading. Now we need to do the side stream. The right size is size P. Uh, string length of key data. A member. And that's it. Simple enough for that. And we've got the right. Scope. Give me the length of that, the size of that, and copy into right anchor length T right uh, right. Pointer plus equals about that. Then we've got a mem copy. And then we've got to actually copy the actual string itself. Key data. Do, 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 do. Is it a reference? No. Because that's already a pointer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. String length. Okay. So it was the right size. Here is that. Yeah, it does the right checking, and then it does the actual, and then it actually starts writing the stuff out. I'm not sure if like interweaving them may be better, but I can retrofit that. I don't know simplicity versus. I don't know. I don't. That, yeah, that's the answer. I don't actually know. I'm just hoping for now. Maybe one day I'll come back, profile it, and come up with uh, figure out the better solution. But for now, no. An array of externally held data. Okay, here's the uh, the big one. Read screen. Now, unlike with YAML, we are doing control members first, the length member. So I, by the time I'm reading this, like this, this, this length member, in this case, has already been like read in. So I already know whether or not I need to read it. So that I can, I can just do like if uh, p data, uh, sorry, new data dot the member is greater than zero, then we're going to go through the, the rigmarole of actually reading the stuff. Otherwise, we can very easily skip it. Yeah. Okay, so new data dot, and we also know the size of what we need already. Wait. Okay. This requires that. So that is the member name itself. We do the malloc straight off the bat. Hmm. 
malloc this stuff, right? Yeah, uh, the pipe. What's the pipe? Two uh, pipe thing. If this two three zero one two three. Do I want a mem set? Um, new data is always zeroed out. When we go deeper in anyways but what if it's not or just mem set it ourselves or when if it's content it's gonna be clear okay No, leave it that. Let's leave it like that. If there becomes a problem, it's very easy to fix it all across the entirety of the application because it's auto-generated. Read failed. Four is zero. I less than the data dot zero. For each of these. Ooh, how's this gonna work? Sub read size binary sorry result equals binary read the type two which we already established up there from the read pointer the read size and sub read size new data dot zero plus i pointer to where we're going to put the stuff in if result not equals no success then go to this so one two three still there Otherwise, we read it successfully. We're carrying on. Read pointer plus equals sub read size. Goalies. Okay. Hmm. This is not covering. Yeah, okay, I'm missing cases. I'm missing cases all over the place. I'll have to come back and figure it out. Yeah, size, string. For this, for that, going through each of the member length, guys, we will be Binary right type the member name plus I as a pointer this part should never fail ever.
and the right size increases by that. Okay. And again, like the the number of items here has already been written out. We don't have to worry about that. We just go. We can just launch straight into the four loop. Got that, we've got the struct, sorry, not type name. Got the name. The break size, this is actually gonna be a real thing, so P Size minus right blinker minus the right buffer. The size, the total size of the writing buffer minus what we've already written into it. Okay. Uh, one instead. No, no. It will be same thing again. One and then two. Plus I the offset sub the right size. No. Not no. It's going to be the right point for now. If it was a failure, just return that right away. Otherwise, right pointer advances by how much we actually wrote, which was sub right size. Okay. It's these three numbers again. Case of single external members. Hmm. So, how do I determine if this was even read or written, actually? Scope it. Event eight for key. Number written. And copy into number written. So right now, for each of these externally held numbers, I'm going to write out explicitly whether or not I wrote it through just a non-zero value. You know, basically a true or false. For now, just for these. The multi, the data arrays are controlled by in somewhere else in the array already. Uh, what I can do in future refinement, okay, is change um, binary right uh, bits. Rather than having like r wasting a single byte for each member, I could just like put them all together on like a bit mask at the beginning of the whatever it is. So instead of if I have 64 members, all like externally, and then I can also use this, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially for inlined members, which I may or may not be writing out. I can say, if I have 64 members of any type, I can say either, I can either have like 64 bytes of zeros or ones, or I can have like, you know, a 64-bit 
like what four eight bytes just eight bytes rather than 64 bytes and in that will also encompass the exact same amount of data and then i can just like read each bit to see if i actually need to write or if i need to read if it had been written before so i can really compress that down but for the moment just to keep just to get this off the ground uh i'm gonna do it per byte uh so where was i um Right, read pointer. That read pointer plus equal size of that. If the member had been been written. And I'm just assuming it's all binary complex types, aren't I? Basically, um, yeah. And I did not account for uh, group translators either. Mm. Not doing good. So this is number zero. No, 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 this is read pointer, sub read size. And then we have that member, right? No, hold on, this is an externally held member. So I would need to allocate first. Check that. So, so we out we malloc it, we allocate it. Now we're going to read the stuff in. Then if we have it. not success, then we're gonna to have to go to this point as well. And this is not three, this is going to be number two. Point number two. Otherwise, uh, read pointer. Up in size, it advances by that much. That was successfully read. So dot format, under name, type name. The uh, fancy name. So determining the size, if it's just the yeah, idea, if uh, p data, whatever the member is, then we are going to be
pass that in uh, right size no okay and then right plus equals sub right size simple enough now dot format uh, member name and type name Now for writing. <clears throat> oh, and. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yes and no. Uh, first of all, right size increases by the size of the you know member written member then it also may increase by the size of the actual content if it's there but this is always going to happen this bit right here if we're down here oh no 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 maybe it's the Let's go first. We want HT member written equals whether e beta that one or zero, I guess. It's ternary, simple. Number name. And then we then copy that out to that and write pointer plus Okay, then we go into the if, or just if member written, really. If that, we already have the local member, I guess. Or can I put that in a separate, I could do this, yeah. If get a little bit on the stack, if that, then okay, you and well, it's basically this. Result equals that. We've got zero. Zero, one, zero again. Yes, 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 yes. Right pointer. Right size, but this equals that. And a check for the results. Okay. if okay now I can uh, I'll do dot common dot if is struct type now we do like binary read and write based on that and then finally we'll do some other okay do this if, if this is a struct spec roots do something elif type name in If it's an ID type, then it's also got a special uh, thing. I don't know exactly how to do it quite yet. LF type name in that. 
<sighs> else, then we get that down to basic height, I think. So, for the moment, I'm not going to do complex stuff. I'm just going to assume that it has been written. And then that's what I'm going to do here. So, read string that equals. So that should not have been that, right? Because when reading, that's already a pointer. But this will not be a pointer, so that makes sense. So we've got member name type name with a fancy name let's actually just do this like something else formatted type uh, struct name Zero, one, two, okay. That's it for now. Right string. Size of whatever the type is. It's pretty simple. Sorry, not the right string, the size string. And then the right string is, again, very similar to this, except it's basically just that. That, 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 yeah. So I can maybe actually merge these cases a little bit. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, maybe hmm. like I don't know what to do for this case yet, so I just won't even do it. Done. Simple. Type name. Member name. With the inline type, so M copy the data. Sorry, no. Yeah, no, new data, no, sorry, new data, and new data, dot zero, we're just going to copy that data straight in. Read pointer, size of whatever the type is.
Not read, write. Then copy to the right buffer, to the right pointer from P data zero, size of one. Does not really work. Okay, uh, 146. One ninety. Okay, member name and type name. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff. You went eight, new data, mem set, mem read, pointers. Okay, we that, read that. We're going, this is a string. For example, complex struct, we failed. Okay, see that looks nice. Plain old data, plain old data, plain old data. Big old external member. Again, like this is only really dealing with struct types. I'm kind of not handling like for uh, pointed to members. Other than the char array, I'm not really handling base, basic plain old data types that are in array or externally held at all. Uh, but let's just start. Right, yeah. Yeah, hmm. I could. It'd be kind of expensive, right? I mean, it could be so much cheaper. But, okay, do I want to like have things cheaper, but more complex uh, here? Or do I want to keep stuff more readable and a bit less efficient? That is the question. Ooh, that's not good. It could not figure out that that was supposed to be. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, this is just a mistake on my part here. Mm. 
is complex type. There we go. For, uh, sorry, right size, size right. Okay, structs, whatever. Okay, here we go. The complex structs are now being done correctly here. That is good. Hmm. Okay, it's a start. So I'm going to grab a little bit of drink and then we're going to start spitting out a couple of these to, let's say, faux position and faux physics, uh, binary R. I actually haven't thought about this. Okay, drink first, so BRB. Okay, so YAML is in a separate library, external, because it's uh, non, because like data handling for YAML isn't supposed to be integrated. But binary is another question because binary would be used for more than just reading and writing to file. You'd also presumably want to use this compact binary kind of format for, let's say, doing networking or like cross application communication, if that was to happen as well. Rather than having like a YAML, a character-based uh, interchange format, you'd want to just like throw binary across. So like actually having binary, the read-write would actually being integrated into the actual like physics library itself, where the types are also declared, declared is probably a really good, it's probably like, it's just best because it's always going to be paired together almost all the time, right? No, hold on. Maybe there may be cases where the binary types. Okay, what if there's a mismatch? How do I deal with that? Read write. Because one of the things I do have for separating the reading and the writing libraries is that you can actually read an older format and write out to a newer format. And I won't be able to do that very easily if it's integrated into the actual core type itself. So... As weird as it is, it may be better to just have it as an external library as well. So that you can mix and match reading and writing formats. Maybe. You know what? Okay, no. Integrate it in. And if I need to take it out later, I will split it out later. I'm not, I'm not going to bother with the complexity of whatever I'm talking about right now. Not worth it. So compare, clean up. Oh, let's just compare. That's it. Okay. Binary. Binary, binary. They are C. Uh, for the moment, anyways. Uh, there's a standard rule. No, there's not that, but there is in include po results.h. That is there. Binary. Build. 
auto generate code for physics. Please. Okay. Yes and yes, we will add that to this right here. That one said. So, we're here. Don't know what UN32T type, type is, so we want to include standard int doc h, and then we want to include the translator for the moment. Again, I may later. I don't know. I don't. I don't have enough information to make a really good. Um, I just don't know. I just don't have enough information to make it really good. Like, should it be this way or this or this way? Quite yet. So unknown type class. That's true. So this would be a C plus plus type. No. Uh, right, so this is a struct, okay, and then this is a struct, okay, what's going on? Oh, this type, C++, that's not going to work, okay, back up, back, 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 back up. Binary C is out the window, and we are upgrading or downgrade. We're side grading the C plus plus for this. Mm -hmm. We do not have that. This is going to require or is it string right? Now we just have to deal with the uh, binary. If it's going to basically be included everywhere, I may as well just include it as part of this. So it will be not part of result, but like binary result. Something like that. Twenty two include that, that, and that. We're going to kind of Example, which is up here, right? Yeah. So we're going to have enum. It's going to be of uh, what? Pro binary success. Sufficient buffer size. Error. What was it? Out of memory, I think it was. Looks like it. There we 
we have that, then we're going to have, much like down here, have a function that does that, include. Binary result for that, two string. is going to return this. Got that, now we need a binary. That was not useful, take me there. Close that, close that, uh, close that. We've got that. Got that. And got that. Close these up. I need to rename a bunch of things here. That gets me all of that. Really? You don't know what a null is. Interesting. Very interesting. So we got that. Then we want this, which is just a simple case of inline. Do I want to inline that? I may as well, right? No, in case there's a new member added. But if there's a new member added, then you would inline that. No, full result is publicly known. Is there any other way? I don't think so. Okay, I can inline this. Because it is just passing the value in and then adding a pointer to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let me find. This. Nope. This. That is the name of this which we have in several locations. We're doing that. So this now needs to have that right these should not be void they should be that and that okay that and that great okay Mm 
you're reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, there's no else because there's nothing to actually type out. Same for this type. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. Let's do the same for position then. Should just copy paste a lot of this, right? Probably. Probably. Position, type of structs, that's going to be the same thing. Position, standard int, yes. This is going to be C again, so that's fine. Position, need to grab, I guess, that, I think. So kind of similar deal. Uh, this is yeah, this just works. Just works. Maybe I don't know. No, like none of this is tested yet. So next would be graphics VK. That's the next one on the list. This pair files. Do this. Okay, so we got binary graphics VK binary. This is just dealing with that one type. So the, the photo graphics VK something or other. Shader type. Standard int, okay. Binary that, and then we got what? Oh, results. Would this stay plain C? This would stay plain C, I think. Back end. And we're going to have a more interesting type. Is there a graphics VK for this? I don't think so. It's just plain old graphics. It's overriding whatever. Not great. I don't have mem set, that's true.
standard lib from memset. Okay, and then we're getting down to this. I need Vulcan dot a Vulcan Vulcan. Get past those ones. Result set is incompatible with I oh because yeah. Okay, I need to add some malloc stuff to that. I need to say what the Type is from Malik. And um, was this an external type? DK descriptor set layout created in Gusto. I don't remember it being. Uh, what is it? What was it? It is an inline type, so I don't know why I'm malloking this or this. Okay, the malloc types are if struct type, it's an inline struct data type. So why is it doing malloc? I'm gonna find malloc. Probably this one, right? Only two, lo two, four locations. First location, extra at char star array, external length, external single. Okay, if type suffix count star. How? Is this it? No, it's still there. So... This one that's using? No? Read, size, write. Oh, no, I am actually that stupid. Yes, 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 I am actually malloking for this um, for an inline data type. Like an idiot. Okay, and now we're back down to the fact that we don't have these functions yet. That is fine. We do have the else for a cleanup of that, so I need to include cleanup for that. That's another couple down. Result is... Do I not have a result? I do not have a result for this. On the right side, because I just would use it and then return with it. So, result. This is just from reading, that's fine. Results from int. It's assuming that it's int. That'll be resolved soon enough. Okay. Trying to think, like, is there any requirement 
Like, is there any real difference? Can I just reuse? Can I just reuse this for the Vulcan types themselves? I think I can, as long as I deal with like if. Type dot fail plus equals type dot tail. Something like that. If I can do that, Something like that, then I should actually be able to reuse this file directly for uh, the Vulcan type itself. Like, I can just do like this almost. Mm -hmm. Almost. Vulcan stuff is just kind of missing. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Why? Thank you. We're back. Okay. Graph, oh, graphics VK. VK binary. I guess is what I'll call. Oh, no. I don't even have, like... Two, three, four. I'm just doing that. I need to find the doctor, so give me that. I'm going down all the way down to this isn't happening, of course. Binary that. Bunch of macros, so graphics. Okay, we're not going to have that. We're going to have not that either. That plus Vulcan. String, not string. Standard int. I need the this. Got that.
these two. Don't need these two either. We need enough of them to compare at least. And then we need to add that to this. Permission denied. Did not make it executable. Cool. Go again. Pro graphics VK VK binary H, okay. I need to return or I need to include no binary results. This is going to include pro graphics VK. That's going to include the types that we're missing from here. Correct? No. No, 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 hold on, I'm looking at the wrong section. Whoops. Down here, we have cleanup, shader. We go this type, this is going to have, this is missing stuff. Include. I need to echo. That. For each line, add a bit of space between, yep, these things, all these types, that's great. We're now going to roll back into the binary C. This is still missing the stuff. Okay, the inline struct. I'm having a problem with inline data structure where I need to write I need a pointer to it. So that's better. Implicit declaration of function. Are you sure about that? This declaration. I don't understand. This is not implicitly declared. It is very much right there. 
or what are you looking for? Yes, it's very much right there. Result set, that, that, that. No problem. All right, let's see what's going on then. If this is okay, look at that. UK set, um, okay, this is kind of going back to where we have. If it's a handle type, e data dot. is incorrect it's almost always a pointer a few more cases down result equals binary okay that's again that's a handle type which i don't want to be okay this is I want to handle it locally now. We're going to have a number of modifications to this type, which means it will no longer really be all that compatible. Oh, but. Unless I add a flag to the main type, actually, okay, so back up, back, 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 back. I can make some extra flags here. I can add an extra flag that says, if Vulcan, then some special checks. I don't have to have two type to worry about quite yet. So I don't have to worry about it on that front, but I do have to worry about it on this side. So one of the things, oh, and yeah, the S type. Yeah, okay. If, I need, where's the uh, handle thing from? Libs YAML tools? In right code, VK struct YAML. Is is VK handle? Define that. That's one thing out of the way. Um, <clears throat> if if this and S type, then read string where new data dot S type equals that. That's going to be just what. Ember dot get it's around here somewhere. 
S type, structure type, structure type, structure type. There you are. Number dot get values. Member. Okay, that. Then I want to currently skip uh, p next and void. So. That should have reduced things a little bit, but it did not. Struct binary, struct binary. That's better. Getting closer. <clears throat> if binding count, okay, why is Okay, wrong type for the length. If zero zero, no, that's uh, that here. If one zero zero one, double check down here as well. Zero 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 because one. Okay, they've they've flipped around here. Okay, we've got some sub right side stuff going on, right? Or, okay, we've got to deal with cost. Const pointer nonsense, okay. Got that, this should be n sub right size and this. Type two. Star pointer. Okay. Very close. So we still have four pointer member writing for that. No errors, no warnings. Okay. UK structure type is I need a reset size string and write string, so I don't have to worry about S type. It's not it's not bothering lines out of the way and the whole thing actually compiles too which is also quite a bit of a miracle a miracle, a Christmas miracle. And it's already been two hours. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get the rest of the binary stuff writing out for, for uh, graphics resource. And then I guess I'll call it a, a, a night with that. Offline, I'll probably do armature. And then when I come back next time, it'll be really, I'll, I may have tests done, but I'll, I have a bunch of refinements to do the for this stuff to really cut down like the bit mask to cut down the you know what I'm writing out. So let's just get graphics resource on the way. What we got here? 
their files. Binary. This is all C, that's great. Int. Yep. Yeah, this is binary XML dir. I don't know why I have XML dir several times. Get out of here. Bit of a mistake there. I mean, I guess I kind of do need that. I need the Vulcan one, at least. Bit of a mistake there. That's doable. So I got these types. I do need, do I need compare? I need those compare. I will need those compare, but I will need binary X resource, blah, 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 cleanup. to add binary dot C okay and then time for what I'm missing which is fo binary results fo Results. Not quite what I was hoping for. Pair binary. Else need the DK binary. Translator stuff, which I'm not even, I didn't even. So, yeah. A, B, C, D, E, include O, B, C, S, group translator. Okay, great. Now we're down to this stuff. So let's include standard lib.h. For string type, I need to, when I mem copy to destination, I need to make sure it's a char star, just in case it's... Yeah, discarding qualifiers. Okay, thank you. I will remove you because I know what I'm doing in this one particular case by writing to... that okay so 
result, binary, all this stuff. I have group translator, I'm just not passing it through. And I'm not doing conversions for IDs here either. Okay, so you know what? I'm just going to just leave it there. It's already been two hours and seven minutes. Next time I will be doing group translations and fixing up binary. Probably won't get to refinements until maybe after, but whatever. That's it for now. It's been long enough. So until next time, cheers.